I have a lot of concerns and my daughter did too. You don't know what's in your water. I did lose my daughter to breast cancer. She's like, nobody's had cancer in, my in our family, but why did it hit me? I'm so young. Do you think it was the water? And it's like, I don't know. My name is Becky Quintana, and I'm from Seville, California, which is in the Central Valley in Tulare County. The community of Seville is, uh, I think we had like 300 people that live here. And now, though, we have a lot of farm workers that live here. We've always had water issues. Recently, a couple of years ago, our nitrates were um, really exceeding the, the legal limit. Of course, when you have nitrates, they send you notices letting you know about the nitrates. And of course, when we have bacteria, they send us notice telling us that uh, we have bacteria. Make sure you boil your water. And of course, when you boil your water, that multiplies the nitrates in your water. So sometimes it's just don't drink it, don't boil it. And it's an eye-opener when we see farmers, you know, spraying. And of course, you know, we do need the ag. That is that is one of the biggest employers here in Tulare County. You know, you got to work with them, but then also you got to protect our environment. A neighbor, our neighbor across the street said that their water had run out, but I never thought that it would happen to us until two weeks later when our water ran out too. We've been living here for about nine or ten years. We started to have problems with our water about one or two years ago. Everything was just fine and then less and less water started coming out of the tap. After a while we, we didn't have any water coming out of the tap, there was nothing. It was really difficult for me. We have four children and we have to cook for them, we have to bathe our whole family, go to the bathroom, and it was really hard for the children to understand what was going on. The neighbors started to give us water, but even so we really didn't want to waste it, so we would try to save as much as possible. So many days we didn't bathe. Eventually someone helped us fix the well, and we were happy because some water started to come out, but then we noticed it had a lot of sand in it and was really dirty. About three months ago, they told us that the water was contaminated. It made me really worried because I cook a lot, and we don't have very many resources to buy a ton of water. What we do buy is water to drink, but since I, we cook so much, we can't buy all the water to cook as well. It's difficult for us to buy as much water as we need. Only my husband works and we're a family of six. So we buy all the necessary food for our children and we buy water, but that might mean that we buy less food for our children. Well, I'm really w more worried about the health of my children. I'm from a country where we're used to having fewer resources, but my children aren't used to that. With the drought, that has really opened the eyes to a lot of uh, other communities, politicians that, you know, we've always had water issues. You know, we were just a little hand of people from a little community, and we were really ignored for a lot of years. Uh, in our community, we are getting funded to, um, to connect with Yedem, which is another community down the street. Uh, we're going to be getting new infrastructure in another nine months. But we started nine years ago just trying to get somebody to help us with our water system that takes nine years. You know, the process should be a lot quicker. This is a crisis. You know, people just don't see it. My mayor. You know, my, my greatest, if you can say it, my greatest dream would be for us to connect with Sanger. 
uh, so that we could be part of their water system. We also would like to be part of their wastewater system since here we have a lot of problems with septic tanks. So if we were connected with Sanger, we wouldn't have so many obstacles against us. We wouldn't have to struggle to get these resources. I would just want people to know our needs out here and the services that we're lacking. I really hope that they listen to us and guarantee us the same rights that people in cities are guaranteed. We're out here in a rural area and I hope that they don't forget about us.